Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, Nothing and Editage. What I'm doing today is I'm going to be doing some, what I call, freezer pre-prep. I got uh, these, two packs of these and two packs of this. Uh, this is the Country Boy Sausage. I just dearly love this, y'all. This is the uh, smoked sausage made with beef and pork and added garlic. I caught them on sale, so I bought two packs of each. I should have bought more. <laughs> and this is the Country Boy Sausage. It's the smoked pork sausage with venison added and garlic. Okay, what I have over here, I'm going to spin you all around. You know I love to spin you all around. Here's my cutting board that I got from uh, Lisa Northcutt. I do appreciate these, girl. I really do. Thank you so much. And then over here, I'm just going to carry you all over there. That's my two prep cans. I'm going to put two links of the, the venison sausage in one and the uh, pork and beef in the other okay let me open these packages up and we'll get rolling okay y'all as y'all can see i removed this label here well i cut around it i didn't really actually remove it i'm going to place that inside that ziploc bag that way i know exactly what's in there so i'm going to get to my pre-prep in here this I always I never use like half links or quarter links or, I never do that. I always use my sausage for like jambalaya, um, gumbo stuff like that. Oh, and another thing, you see how it, how that I put this sausage in the freezer for one hour, so it would cook, cut the way I want to cut. It just seems to help cut and watch it'll start tearing up now. No. <laughs> but I just find this to be the easiest way to pre prep sausage. <clears throat> I mean, when you're ready to cook a gumbo or, um, let me cut that one, a gumbo or jambalaya or sausage and potatoes this just saves a step because y'all seen me pre-prep my celery and my onions so that's pre-prep so i try to pre-prep y'all as much as i can are they evenly cut no i mean i don't really care okay i just said freezing them helped it do that but this is not as frozen as the rest of it was so i'm gonna have a little couple of tears here and there okay so much easier and I just messed that one up no help it's so much easier to reach inside of one of these bags and just pull this pre-cut sausage out and start cooking you're saying well that's really not that big of a deal yeah you know after a while it does become a big deal you know what I'm leaving that one like it is okay so let's get to the second one here I wish I knew how to do the um, editing where you did the fast forward on stuff, but I am actually um, doing this for a reason. So, and for those of y'all who want to watch, y'all will continue watching. Like I said, I wish I would have uh, bought more packs of these. Uh, this is the, both types of this sausage is so good. I, I'm eating that one. <laughs> it's cooked, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. I have found that this sausage adds so much flavor to every dish that I cook. I mean, it truly, truly does. I will never buy Eckridge sausage again. Um, Man does that type. Now there is another brand out there that I really like a lot. And uh, it's called Eddie's. And they have different varieties of their sausage as well. It's a very good sausage. 
But I wanted to. I mean, I mean that's a nice, that's a nice sausage. Egg. I'm not doing a sausage review, but I guess I really could because <laughs> I just love this sausage. I used the, um, I've used the deer in a couple of recipes, uh, gumbo and jambalaya. And I've also used the pork and uh, beef sausage in other recipes. I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm going to be pre-prepping the uh, smoked sausage with the pork and beef. Again, I'm dropping the label in there. Another time saver. I'm not sitting there uh, marking a bag. I don't have to. This won't last. I mean, I see people put dates on food. Um, stuff like this don't last at my house. You can rest assured it won't. So. If you notice this plastic cutting board is not sliding all over my counter. I've seen that in several, several videos and I'm like, oh my god, you're going to get cut. What I did was I took a paper towel and I wet it and I placed it underneath the cutting board so therefore it keeps it from doing all that rocking and rolling. I don't know if y'all can hear that in the background. <laughs> that little click click click. That's my baby girl. She's thinking she's gonna get some of this sausage but one thing I might don't like giving my dog is pork. Um, once in a while I will give her uh, like a lean pork loin or something, I will give her that, but uh, for the most part, something like this, no, I'm not going to give it to her. All right, let's get this last one done and over with. I think maybe I should have put them in the freezer just a tad bit longer or took them, not left them on the counter this long. Okay, I'm gonna finish cutting this up and I'll be right back. Okay, another little thing I wanna share with y'all is those cans. I've had those cans forever. And you just throw stuff in there and nothing gets dirty on your rim of your bag as you're trying to uh, seal it up. So, I mean, that's just a tip. I mean, <laughs> been doing it for years. Bag. And I did wash my hands. See, there's that label right there. I don't have to worry about all that. So. This is the air out. Mix the cans. Spread the sausages pretty good. These are freeze really well. Now, it's not like some things that I want to get the air out first and then flatten them out. I mean, you don't have to, like, flatten and have a flat, flat bag to put these in there and you can still see that label in there I know what's in there that's about all that matters and this is ready to go into my freezer for when I need it I just grab a handful of okay do the same thing with this one here I don't do anything the same way twice if I did I'd be boring like everybody else I guess like everybody else you try not to be boring I don't know how to say I just don't never do things the same way twice. Like I told my husband, I can't go around the block the same way twice. And so what makes you think I'm doing anything else the same way twice? <laughs> mm. All right, so there we have it. We have our two bags of sausage cut up and ready to go in the freezer. I want to thank y'all for watching. Please like, subscribe, and by all means, leave a comment. And, uh, hey, if y'all would uh, drop me a comment down below and let me know what uh, type of things y'all do to um, pre-prep food and save you some time in the kitchen, I really would like to know that. I've learned a lot of things on uh, YouTube, but you can't watch every video out there. So if you have a helpful hint as to stuff I can do to help me uh, make uh, meal prep easier, I'm all for it. Please leave me a comment. Y'all have a great day.